good morning <laughs> it is sunday the 5th, 5th january 2020 this is our last morning at this campsite which is carnan downs carnan downs near Tura. in cornwall um yeah it's a really nice campsite it's emptied it quite a bit hasn't it we had like neighbors two neighbors that side one neighbor that side then obviously the rest of the campsite as well massive campsite um but they were all gone there's a few camp there's a few caravans and that left but it's a massive campsite um massive shower block which i showed you in one of the other videos there's another shower block was it about the same another size? Two shower blocks on the top yeah, it's one. another two shower blocks, probably about the same size. So really nice. The only criticism I've got about the showers is that there's nowhere to put your shampoos and shower gels and stuff. There's just nowhere. It's like where you meant to put it. I'm not putting it on the floor. Um, so you've got to like balance it on like the soap dish. Well, no, because the soap dish was full of water oh. of other people's shower um yeah so you've got to so like balance it where the turny tappy hotty cody temperature thing is <laughs> and the light was going off and the some. light yeah the light kept going off again it's like oh for goodness sake like i'm sure i'm sorry but i'm sure people take longer than me that definitely does. anyway um yeah so that's the only criticism really is nowhere to put your stuff in the shower um apart from that really nice really nice campsite really well spaced out you're not on top of each other you got like you got your pitch and then you got like a bit of gravel for if you've got an awning and, you've got picnic and a picnic each each pitch has got a little picnic table um and then there it, that's like quite well spaced out from the other other caravans and stuff isn't it um anyway so yes we would come to this campsite again how much was it difference 27 I think. 27 quid for this time of year it's got probably all changed isn't it this is probably the same as peak, isn't it? Yes. Yeah, so um, yes. Yeah, so anyway, the plan today is to go to Tintagel. Yeah. Um, and then home, really. And then we're not going to be going away for a few months because it's going to be cold and wet. Cold and wet and just horrible. Yeah. And I hate the winter. It's just horrible. It just spoils everything. Um, so yeah, I'm not sure when we're going out next then. No. No. Or where we're going. No. But we have got, we've got Wales coming up at Easter, so that's a couple of weeks, isn't it? And then we got, in the summer holidays, we've got the North Coast 500. Um, that's a two weeko, isn't it? So that's two big ones, and then obviously we'll have lots of little weekends and stuff in between um that's it so we'll see you anything else to add to that don't think so has he got anything to say to that no no okay so we'll finish faffing and we'll go we'll we'll be at tentagel before you know it in about a few seconds Okay, we've arrived at Intagel thing and this is the car park and it's, it says, there is a notice there behind me that says you can open, little homes and caravans and that can overnight park here for what, £4. For £4. So that's worth knowing any of you lot. So we'll have to find some stuff. Okay, so this is what the village. Yeah. The village, and we have got the old post office of Tintagel. What is so special about it? It's old. It's old. It's old. Trust. National Trust is shut today. Um, have we been there before? Yeah. I can't remember. Um, but I take it you can actually post stuff there. I don't know. Not today. Not today. Oh, shop over there as well. I'm going in all these shops. Nice, wouldn't it? That'd be great. For you. So, this building dates from around about 1380, 
and it's um, a surviving example of a Cornish Hall house, uh, which has many uses, mostly as a Victorian letter receiving office for the village. But now it's um, a little cottage that you can explore. But like I said earlier, it's shut. a steep climb down which can only mean we've got to climb up it I say climb that's a bit of an exaggeration walk up it but it's still very steep. apparently you can get a Land Rover I might consider that it depends what my knees are like I don't remember it being all this walking there oh, so it was sort of just sort of ring a bell I don't know. Anyway, it's around there somewhere. God, it's really difficult to walk down. How? Eh? No. Okay, so we are taking the bottom path. So we're in the bottom bit of it first and then going up to it and walking back on that other path that everyone else is on because there seems to be a load of people have arrived. I suppose the sort of advantage of going to these places out of season is less, um, less crowded but it's also cold <laughs> and most of the shops are shut so I don't know really
Oh my god. <laughs> Man, you want to. Any lift here? Richard Allen. Oh. Not it's King Arthur. Right. No, he's not real. Fairy <sighs> story. If he is real, he's Welsh. Why? Explain yourself. It's the only record of an Arthur in history is that some Welsh, Welsh king. And I reckon it might be in. Controversial. Okay. It looks like yeah. like a little like reptile and like this bit is this little hand coming out and that's his head. Oh, that's yes. his body back here and that's his little hand. Like ah. See, that's yeah. not the lizard thing, it's the lizard. <laughs> are from the dark ages but no one seems to know anything about them really they were cleared in the 1930s uh, a dark age settlement Where the bridge is down there, originally there was land going across there until it collapsed in a storm in about 1400. Okay. And since then it's been a separate island. So have we been in that scoopy oak bit there? Yes. We have? Yes, we just we came up the steps from the other side. Alright, okay. Oh yeah, look at that. There's a noise as you go across it. Oh, they feel like they're loose. Oh, I don't like this. Oh my god. Oh, I don't like it. Slate moves. No, get off it quick. <laughs> Back 
down this little path, then all the way up the other side. Oh. It's too steep. It's too steep. It gets worse when you bend it. Oh no. My poor knees. That's it, fly off. Well, did it again, like the other week on the Isle of Wight. Walked past a pub. Had to go in for a carvery. It was really nice, wasn't it? Yeah. I had your mate because you don't like. They were doing before pork. pork, and you don't like them either. But you didn't find that out until after. So I had all your meat, and you had a Yorkshire pudding. <laughs> Honey shop. Gotta go in there. So that's that now. That ends our Christmas holiday. In two stages. In two stages. So now, now it's back to reality. Um, I'm very sad by that. And now we have to go. So, until next time, goodbye. See ya. See ya. We're going to be ya.